Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 8 Rotational of Rigid Body. So, in this video, we are going to see the relationship between the linear kinematics and also rotational kinematics. So, in chapter 2, we already learned linear kinematics where we have a linear motion S, U, V, A, and also T. So, the relationship between the linear and rotational motion is S equals to R theta. For initial velocity, U equals to R omega naught. V is equals to R omega. Linear acceleration is equals to R alpha. Okay, next we will go to uh, look at the table uh, to compare the equations of linear and also rotational motion with constant acceleration. For rotational motion, our angular acceleration, if let's say constant, we also can build four equations okay so v we change to omega u we change to omega naught a we change to alpha t still remain the same so we will have omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t theta equals to omega naught t plus half alpha t square omega square equals to omega naught square plus two alpha theta and the last one is theta equals to half omega plus omega naught t. Okay, so let us go to exercise number two. Questions number one. A rigid body rotates about a fixed exit through a point in the body with a uniform angular velocity. So the angular velocity initial is equal to 600 rpm. The velocity then decreases to a constant detention meaning that is uh, decelerate to 300 rpm okay so omega equals to 300 rpm in t equals to 6 second so first one determine the angular acceleration so since we have omega naught omega and also t we want to find alpha so we can use omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t where omega is 300 rpm so we need to convert first okay so omega not is 600 rpm rpm meaning that revolutions per minute so one revolution is equal to 2 pi and one minute we convert into 60 second so therefore the initial angular velocity is equal to 20 pi radian per second and the final angular velocity is equal to 300 rpm so 300 times 2 pi over 60 so therefore we will have 10 pi radian per second so we substitute into the equations 10 pi equals to 20 pi plus alpha t is 6 second so finally alpha you will get negative 5.2 radian per second squared Okay, where negative here shows that it is decelerate. B, find the number of revolutions. So we want to find how many revolutions uh, the body has turned through the 6 seconds. So when you want to find number of revolutions, the first thing is you need to find theta first. Uh, because we know that uh, for 1 revolution is equal to 2 pi. So we must find theta first. So since we have uh, omega naught, omega t and also we have alpha. So any of the three four equations we can also use so if let's say i use theta equals to omega naught t plus half a t square so you substitute omega naught is uh, 20 pi t is 6 second plus half a is the value that i get just now negative 5.2 and t is a uh, 6 square okay so if you calculate we will get 90 pi radian Okay, but we don't want to find in radian. Uh, we want to find in one in revolution. Now uh, we know that one revolution is equal to two pi radian. So, uh, how many revolution in ninety pi? Okay, so we can use ratio to find. Okay, where x will equal to ninety pi over two pi. 
Okay, so finally we know that we have 45 revolutions. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, next one. Find the extra time needed. Uh, so what is the extra time needed by the body to continue until it stops? Okay, if it's continued to slow down. So initially we know that when t equals to 0, uh, our omega initial is equal to 20 pi. After t equals to 6 seconds, omega will reduce become 10 pi. So we want to find what is the time taken when omega equals to 0. Okay, so we want to find the extra time needed. Okay, so we want to find here. Okay, what is the extra time needed? Okay, so meaning that now because we take here uh, six sec after 6 seconds, so our omega naught is equal to 10 pi. The final omega will equal to 0 because it stopped. And also alpha is equal to negative 5.2. Okay, because uh, the accelerations, the angular accelerations along the journey is uh, still the same. So we want to find t. Okay, so we can use omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t. So you substitute into the equation 0, 10 pi plus negative 5.2 t. So therefore t you will get 10 pi over 5.2. So the answer you will get 6 seconds. A car is traveling with the velocity 17 meter per second. So u is equal to 17. On a straight horizontal highway, the wheels of the car had a radius of 48 cm, so I already convert into meter. If the car then speed up with the accelerations, okay, so all this thing is actually is a linear, still in linear. So A is equal to 2 for 5 seconds. Okay, calculate the number of revolutions. So as I mentioned just now, when you want to find the number of revolutions, you must find theta first. So what is the value for theta? After that, later we will divide by 2 pi to find how many revolutions. So you must find theta first. Okay, we have two methods to find. The first method is either you use linear. Okay, you use linear motion. Okay, where now I already have u, uh, a and t, and I want to find s uh, because we know that our equation, uh, equation is s equals to r theta. Okay, so after we find s, we have r, then we can find theta. Okay, so now I substitute inside s equals to u t plus half a t square, where u is equals to seventeen, t is five plus half. A is 2, T squared, 5 squared. Okay, so therefore, the displacement is equal to 110 meter. Okay, so after that, we can use theta equals to S over R to find the angular displacement. So 110 over R, 0.48. So therefore, we will get 229 radian. Okay, so we know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi. So therefore, how many revolution if let's say we have 229 radian. Okay, so we can use ratio to find. Okay, so we can use ratio where x is equal to 229 over 2 pi. Eh? Okay, so finally you will get 36.5 revolution. Okay, question number 3. A wheels of the bicycle makes 30 revolution. So 30 revolution here actually they give you the information of theta. 30 revolution. So one revolution is 2 pi. So your theta is actually 60 pi radian. Okay, as the bicycle reduces the speed uniformly from 50 km per hour to 35 km per hour. So meaning that uh, we will have u equals to 50 km. So I convert into meter. Per hour, so one hour is sixty minute times sixty second. Okay, so therefore we can find our u is thirteen point nine meter per second, and the final velocity is thirty five kilometer. So I convert into meter per second, and uh, per hour so sixty times sixty. So now become meter and second. Okay, so the final velocity is equal to nine point seven two meter per second. Okay, so the first question they ask us to find the angular accelerations alpha. Okay, so I will show you two methods. The first one I will use linear motions to find. 
So since we have u, v, and we know that theta is equal to 60 pi and s is equal to r theta, so we have s, u, v, we want to find a. Eh? Okay, so we can use equation v square equals to u square plus 2 as to find the linear acceleration. v is 9.72 square, u is 13.9 square plus 2 a is the value we want to find. S is equal to R theta, so R is here we have the diameter. So diameter is 70, meaning that the radius is uh, 35 cm, or we can convert into meter 0 0.35 times um, theta is 60 pi. Okay, so therefore, accelerations we will get negative 0 0.748 meter per second squared. Okay, so after we find the angular, uh, the linear, linear accelerations. So therefore, the angular acceleration is equal to linear acceleration over R. So it's negative 0 0.748 over the radius 0 0.35. So finally, the angular acceleration is equal to negative 2.138 radian per second squared. Okay, so if let's say you want to use the angular Okay, angular equation, we also can use the, the rotational equations where we can use omega square equals to omega not square plus 2 alpha theta. Okay, so omega here, we know that omega is equals to omega is equals to V over R. So our V is 9.72 over R. So the R is uh, 0 0.35. Okay, so you square equals to omega naught. So omega naught is U. Uh, so it's 13.9 over 0 0.35. And then we square plus 2 alpha theta. Theta is 60 pi. Okay, so alpha similar, you will get negative 2.13 radian per second square. Okay, so we have two methods to find uh, the angular accelerations. Okay, if the bicycle continues similar like just now, if it continues to to uh, bicycle is continues to ride, meaning that it will finally come to the stop. So we want to find the extra time needed. So when t equals to zero, u is thirteen point nine. After that, it will decrease to. 9.72 so we want to find the time taken okay the extra time taken from t1 to t2 okay so we want to find what is the time needed okay until the final velocity is equal to zero uh, because it stopped okay so now our u is 9.72 and our v is zero linear acceleration is equal to negative 0 0.748 so we want to find t Therefore, we can use V equals to U plus AT to find the time taken. So V, because it stop is equal to 0, U is 9.72 plus A is negative 0 0.748 times T. So therefore, T that we will get is equal to 13.1 second. Okay, question number 4 is a blade of the ceiling fan has a radius. So our radius is 0 0.4 meter. It's rotating about a fixed exit with an initial angular velocity. So initial angular velocity is equal to 0 0.15 revolution per second. So one revolution is equal to 2 pi and per second. So meaning that we know that our initial angular velocity is equal to 0 0.3 pi. The angular acceleration of the blade is 0 0.7. So the angular acceleration is equal to 0 0.75. So the first one, find the angular velocity after t equals to 4 seconds. Okay, so we want to find when t equals to 4 seconds, what is the final angular velocity. Okay, so we can use omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t. Say omega is the value that we want to find. Omega naught is 0 0.3 pi. Alpha 0 0.75. T is 4. Okay. So finally, we will get 19.8 radian per second. Okay, next one, find the number of revolutions. So again, similar like the previous questions, you need to find theta first. 
Okay, so you want to find theta, we can use theta equals to omega not t plus half alpha t squared. Eh? Okay, so this equation actually is similar like s equals to ut plus half at squared. Okay, but this one is in rotational. So theta equals to omega naught 0 0.3 pi. T is 4 plus 1 over 2. Alpha is 0 0.75. And T squared is 4 squared. Okay, so finally our theta, we will get 41.5 radian. Okay, so we know that 1 pi... Uh, one revolution is equal to 2 pi, so we divide by 2 pi. So therefore, we know that it is equal to 6.61 revolution. C. Find the tangential speed. Tangential speed actually is a linear speed. Okay, at the point on the tip of the blade when t equals to 4 seconds. So we want to find v when t equals to 4 seconds, meaning that we can use a uh, V equals to R omega to find. Okay, so we substitute R equals to 0 0.4 and omega when T equals to 4 seconds here 19.8 and finally we will get V the linear speed is 7.92 meter per second. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. We will continue with the next video.